Welcome back everyone. In today's video, we'll be unboxing three Batman Forever figures. We have the Riddler, transforming Dick Grayson, and transforming Bruce Wayne. And this figure will unbox first. This is from Batman Forever, transforming Bruce Wayne transforms right into Batman. Here's a look at the back of the package. Here's a look at the entire Batman Forever line. These are from 1995 and our Bruce Wayne figure, and this is how he transforms into Batman. Here's a look at our Bruce Wayne figure and all of his gear out of the package, and I actually really like these Bruce Wayne figures that can transform into Batman so we can put all of his gear on. Super cool, so yeah, this is our Bruce Wayne figure. So it looks like he's kind of ready to get into his Batman gear. He has these black gloves on, gray pants, black boots, and a black shirt. And check this out, we can put his head down right in there. And there's no buttons to press or anything else to get his head back up. All we have to do is just push back a little bit and then it pops back up. So we push down and then kind of push towards this way a little bit and then pops back up. Let's get Bruce Wayne geared up so he can become Batman. So we'll put his leg armor on first. So that's covering his right leg and let's get this other piece of armor on his other leg. So there's his leg armor, and next up we'll put his other armor on his arms. It looks like this piece of armor goes right here. And the other piece of armor will go on this arm. So this is looking really cool, I like the blue Batman armor. Now for the part we've all been waiting for, let's put on Batman's cowl. So we're gonna push his head down and I'm gonna push this right over Batman, slide it down, and there he is, it's Batman. This looks so cool. I really like all the armor, and I like how we can take his armor on and off. It just looks super awesome. And we can also put these battle blades right on his back right here, that way he gets into flying mode. But that looks really cool. So now Batman's into flying or gliding mode. We can also attach the battle blades to his arms, which also looks really neat. Now let's check out our next figure, Dick Grayson. Here it is everyone, our transforming Dick Grayson. He comes with crime fighting suit and sudden reveal mask. Here's a look at the back, and again it shows the entire Batman Forever line. Here's a look at our new figure out of the package and he comes with a cape and a lot of different armor we can put on. There's the chest plate which we'll put that on first. It should just snap into place. And there's the chest plate with an R on it. So that's really cool. All right, next let's put on his, the rest of his armor. Right here is his armor, wrist armor. And we'll put the last one on right here. And lastly, we have these. So we'll put these on his hands. It looks like this might fall off, so we'll have to be really careful. And if it falls off, that's fine. It's just not staying on too well. And there he is with all of his armor and his weapons. Up next, it's our last figure. It's the Riddler with Trapping Brain Drain Helmet. So that must be the Brain Drain Helmet there and then our Riddler figure. And a look at the back. It says right here, pretend to sneak up on a figure from behind. Press the button on the backpack to capture the figure with the Brain Drain Helmet. It looks like the Riddler captured Street Biker Robin. Here's a look at our Riddler figure out of the package and this is a really cool figure. I like the green outfit that he has. It looks like he comes with a lot of gadgets. And here's the trapping brain drain helmet. So we just flip that around and then we can press this right here. 
and then that flips around and captures whoever the Riddler wants to capture. So let's put his arms up just a little bit, that way we can put this around his waist. And then we'll spin the Riddler around like that. We'll have to move his hands or arms down a little bit. And then we'll flip this around and let's watch him do the capture motion. Oh, that's cool. Let's try it again. Now the Riddler is going to try and capture Batman. So it flips around and captures Batman. That probably wouldn't really happen though. I don't think the Riddler would be able to capture Batman that easily. There's one thing we forgot to check out and that's the color changing mask. Let's give that a try. After all these years, the color changing still kind of works. So now we can see his face a little bit better. Welcome back everyone. In today's video, we'll be unboxing Three awesome figures. We have two Batman figures and a Superman figure. Let's start out by unboxing this one first right in the front center. This is Thrasher Suit Batman and this is a part of the DC Comics designer series. It's our Thrasher Suit Batman out of the package and this figure is super awesome and this armor is amazing it's like really heavy thick quality armor it looks like it would be impossible to stop this Batman with this kind of armor and there's quite a bit of articulation on this figure with a lot of different leg movement and arm movement and I think one of the coolest things about this figure is the hands like the fingers can move each finger can move separately Here's a close-up of it and seeing those fingers move is super cool. You don't get that on a lot of figures, so it's it's kind of rare to have something like that. Yeah, just a totally awesome figure. And I like this helmet too. You can put the helmet right on the figure and I like how you can just have the helmet on or off. We'll put it on so we can see what our new figure looks like with the helmet on. And right here you can see the Batman symbol or Batman logo right on the chest of this figure. Let's move on to another Batman that has super awesome armor. Here's our next Batman figure out of the package and it comes with this really cool card. I actually really like the card that this comes with a lot. I'll set that aside and put it in a case. And here is this Batman figure and check out this armor, these spikes on the hands, the forearm, the shoulder spikes. Let's get a closer look at those. That's the hand and forearm spikes and the shoulder spikes. This figure comes with a really interesting design, lots of articulation. And the wings, as you can see, do come off. We'll see what it looks like without these wings. Actually, I think I like it better without the wings. Although it's neat to have the wings as an extra accessory. We'll try putting them on again. So yeah, there's a lot of articulation. No fing uh, finger articulation, but the hands do move. And the elbows. And the legs. So we can bend these knees. Let's see if we can move the feet around. The feet do adjust. That way we can get this figure into a really cool action pose. And we can use this figure stand as well. Actually, before we get our Batman figure into its super action pose, let's put these wings back on again. So what they do is snap into place on the back. You just press them in, and we can do that on the other side as well. We'll check out some different poses for this Batman figure. And there's another action pose. Next up, it's our last figure. It's from the DC Multiverse, Superman with Unchained Armor. This figure has 22 moving parts and also comes with a collector card just like our last Batman figure did. And here's our Superman figure out of the box. And these wings you can adjust, they can like flip around different ways, kind of however way you like the look of them. And they do come off just like that. I actually like the way they look I kind of like the Batman figure without them. I just think the figure in itself is just super cool and I like the armor a lot. 
and it comes with a figure stand just like our Batman figure did and a collector card. Here's a closer look at our new figure. That is some really powerful armor. And the articulation, we can get it into some action fighting positions. We'll get this figure into three battle poses. This is the first battle pose and Superman is in a front stance. Both arms up a little bit ready to battle. In this second pose, Superman is doing a super high sidekick. And our last action battle stance is a lunging double punch. Let's take another look at the three figures we unboxed today. Two Batman figures and one Superman figure. Welcome back everyone. In today's video, we'll be unboxing this Batman playset. This is a Microverse, The Adventures of Batman and Robin playset. And the name of the playset is Gotham City Micro Playset. So here's a look at the back of the box. Shows some other sets that we can collect down here, which are some really really cool sets actually. I really like that Kryptonian battle suit and the Alexo scale 5000. Those look really cool. And here's our play set and this does come with three figures. It comes with Bruce Wayne, Batman, and the Joker. This play set is from 1996 so here it goes everyone. We are going to unbox this for the first time. And it's kind of a little bit of a challenge to get the box open so far. There we go. It comes out better on this side. So here we go. And you know what? I'm just going to get all this stuff out and then we'll put the playset together. Here's a look at everything out of the package. Now let's put together our playset. So we have this centerpiece right here and we're going to add on to the left side first. So we'll snap this into place that way this can slide or move back and forth and on this side we have the uh, bank vault right there and then we also have the Gotham City Jail. The Gotham City Jail needs some bars in the windows that way the Joker cannot escape so there it is with the bars in the windows and we have the vault and we'll look at that a little bit more in just a little bit but let's build the rest of this so we have our right side and this looks like it snapped out of place but that's okay we'll get it there we go so now it's all put together and this set comes with three figures we have batman the joker and bruce wayne and actually batman we can put on this bat wings on his bat cape so it snaps into place these are really tiny figures and I'll give everyone a closer look at them in just a minute. Actually much less than a minute. And here's the money sacks or bags full of money. We'll put those right there. Here's a close up of our figures. On the left we have Bruce Wayne and on the back of the box it says multi-millionaire Bruce Wayne. I'm sure today it would be more like multi-billionaire Bruce Wayne and in the center there's Batman with the bat wing. And on the right, we have the Joker. Now let's take a closer, more detailed look at the playset. So on the left side, we have the Gotham City Jail with two breakout windows. That's the two breakout windows. So we can just take those off like that and they'll break out. But I kind of like the way it looks with the bars in the windows. And right down here, we have the bank vault. And that way, we can open this and put the sacks of money inside the bank vault. There's a closer look at the bank vault and it says Gotham City Bank and inside that vault we have the two money sacks and there's gold. Looks like a lot of bills, probably $100 bills. And on this side it's going to be more of the Wayne Manor part of things with the back cave right in the center. And it looks like we can open this and on the box it shows the Joker inside right there so we'll put the Joker right there we'll just close this and right up here there's the danger alert bat signal so we can twist this around just like that and actually what we can do we'll show everyone the other side here 
is Batman will transform, or Bruce Wayne will transform into Batman. And then we just spin this around, and Batman goes down the slide. It says Wayne Manor right in the center there. We can open and close this door. So this is the front. It says Gotham City Jail, Wayne Manor, and part of the Batcave on the other side. And we can actually close this, which is really cool looking. And we can also take this off if we want. So yeah, it looks really cool. And we didn't get to get an exact close look at this side, so let's check that out. Right here, there's a world map and a desk. And on this side, there's a painting. And we can slide this painting out, and it will reveal a secret elevator. And check it out. There's Batman ready to go in the secret elevator. And the elevator is going up. Oh, Batman fell out of the elevator. Let's get Batman back inside. Batman is going to try this again. Here he goes up in the elevator and it's successful. He's going to the top floor. And there's Batman inside the elevator. He did make it to the top or the second floor. Welcome back everyone. I hope everyone's having an awesome day. Today we'll be checking out four different figures. We have two Joker figures, a Batman figure, and Spider-Man. Our first figure we'll be checking out today is the Batman Beyond Gotham City in the future. And this is the Joker with Hover Cycle. Let's take a look at the back of the package. These figures are from 1999, and this is when Bruce Wayne has retired from crime fighting in a new superhero, Batman Emerges, Terry McGinnis. And you can see the figures we can collect within the set. There's Future Night Batman. I really like the Manta Racer Batman. Looks like a really cool suit with the green, the purple, the white, and then the red on there there's the covert batman the joker that we'll be checking out in just a little bit laser batman and lightning storm batman so lots of different figures within the set especially batman figures here's our new joker figure and he has green hair just like most joker figures do with a pinkish purplish coat on black pants and his shoes It looks like he's ready and posed to go on that hover cycle. Let's check out the hover cycle next. The hover cycle comes in three pieces, so we'll just have to do a little bit of building. Let's put the handlebars on first. So it should snap into place. There we go. And it also comes with this projectile, which we can put right here. And to launch the projectile, we just press this button on the bottom. That's some pretty good, decent launching power. Let's take another look at this hover cycle. So you have the jet boosters back there. So there's no wheels on this because it is a hover cycle, so it's meant to hover above the ground just a little bit. I suppose it could go higher too. It doesn't have to just go above the ground, but it definitely has to be off the ground a little bit. Here's a look at the Joker on his hover cycle. Looks like it's he's ready to take off. So we'll have the Joker take off and then we'll check out our next figure. Next up we have this 1994 Toy Biz Spider-Man figure. This is the Web Racer with Web Racing Action. And we'll take a look at the back. There's some other figures we can collect within the set. Looks like we have, yeah, we have a Spider-Man figure, a couple different Spider-Man figures, some villains on there. There's Spider-Man. Looks like he's going from web to web throughout the city. And it looks like hold each end of the web string with Spidey and one end give a tug and Spidey comes climbing up. That's cool. Yeah, we'll definitely have to check that out. Here's a look at our Spider-Man figure out of the package. This comes with a plastic Spider-Man clip. We'll set that aside and check out our Spider-Man figure. So this Spider-Man figure has the blue, red, and black suit. And it looks like his arms are in that stuck position. We can move his legs a little bit. So not a whole lot of movement or articulation with this figure. He does twist around at the waist and we can kind of sort of move his head. I don't want to force this too much because that could cause 
the two brakes, so we'll be careful. So let's check out how this web action works. So it looks like Spidey is on his Spidey web. So we can grab both ends, just like the back of the package was showing. And we just kind of give it a tug and then Spidey climbs up the web. So it looks like he'll do it from this way. This is the best way to do it. Next up we have a Batman figure. This is a 12 inch Batman figure. Here's some other figures we can collect within the set. Here's a look at our new Batman figure out of the package. He has some visors or goggles on and a really neat bat suit. And Batman has his black cape. Yeah, this is an interesting, neat bat suit. And these uh, goggles or visor does come up just like that. So this Batman figure can do that split stretch. We can bend his knees and get him in a battle position just like this. Let's take a closer look at this visor. So yeah, that just goes up and down like that. Now for our last figure. This is from the Batman, the animated series, and it's Holiday Joker. This is a rare, highly collectible figure. Here's a look at the back of the package. And on this side, it says Holiday Joker. I've had this figure in my collection for a long time and this is finally the time we will unbox it. Here it goes, let's check this out out of the package. It's Holiday Joker. Here's a close up at Holiday Joker. Holiday Joker has his red hat on and a red sweater, a green shirt that's under and his purple pants with some slippers. So it looks like Joker is getting things ready. He even has a tree that doesn't look like it's doing too well. Here's another look at the tree. Looks like it probably hasn't been watered in a long time or taken care of very well. We'll set the tree over here and there's some accessories this also comes with. We can switch out the hands. There's also different color bulbs. That we can actually we can just put these on the tree so we'll decorate the tree i'll actually put this one right there i think that'll work out better we can put this blue one right here oh the green bulb fell off we'll put that back on carefully and we have a red bulb we have to put somewhere let's put it right here that green bulb just for some reason keeps falling off. Oh, that should work. We also get this figure stand, so we'll put this in here. I've actually opened a lot of uh, animated series Batman figures are from that line, but never this Holiday Joker, so it's fun to have this within the collection. And I think if I can remember correctly, this just goes over here. And then our figure can stand in place. And we can always adjust this too if we need to. We have this candy cane too, which we could put in the Joker's hand. Let's uh, switch out the hands first. So we got this hand. And we have lots of different hands to switch out. I'm guessing this might be a little difficult to get the hand out at first. They usually are. So we're just going to spin it and pull it. Keep pulling. There we go. So we'll do an open hand, that way we can hold on to the candy cane. And let's do another open hand, so these are some of the different hands. Let's see if the hands, they don't actually open, but they can... Okay, they actually don't really move either, so... We could uh, have this open hand here or the closed fist hand. Actually, let's keep one hand that's closed and we'll do one that's open. That way we can have the candy cane in his right hand. I had a feeling that was not going to stay too easily. Okay, this should work. There we go. There's another look at the Joker. Let's get him on his figure stand next. So there he is on his figure stand, and this can be adjusted in different ways. And this actually, we can open and close this so it can 
clasp onto the figure and keep them standing well, although this figure actually does stand pretty well on its own. Just in case you're wondering how tall this figure is, let's check that out. Looks like about six and a half inches tall. Here's another look at all of our figures. And today was definitely a day for the Joker with the two Joker figures. We also have that one Spider-Man figure and one Batman figure. Welcome back everyone. I am super excited because we have a bunch of new toys from the Batman. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at the Batcave Riddler face-off. This set has 581 pieces. And it comes with six minifigures. We get Batman, the Riddler, Lieutenant James Gordon, Selina Kyle, Alfred Pennyworth, and Bruce Wayne Drifter. Here's a look at the back of the box. It shows Batman talking with Alfred and they're in the Batcave. Here's a look at the Batcave Riddler face-off all put together. We have all of our minifigures in place. And now it's time to review. And I'll just leave the minifigures in place. We won't go over the minifigures yet, so they're just there for display purposes. But right here we have a map, which is a sticker with a light bar above it. Grappling hook blaster. Right here is a computer. And right here this slides out so we can have it attached or unattached. And right here we have some lights and some stairs leading to the top of Wayne Terminus. Here's another view of the stairs. This is a side view and looking at the back of this set and we have some tracks that we can fold these up or we can lay them flat down. Again, this is the back view. So we have the lights up here and the top of the Wayne Terminus. On the other side, there's a holding cell right here. There's a W on it for Wayne and we can undo this chain here. So we just take the chain off and then we can open this door. Here's a closer look inside. And right here is an escape door so we can just pull that out there. Or the villains when they're inside here they can push that through to get out. Let's work our way back to the front of the back cave. So just like on this left side over here we have the lights and the stairs leading to the top and over here we have a workstation. Alfred's at the workstation. It looks like there's a lot of tools right there. And we can also move this back and forth here. That'll create a little bit of extra room for the workstation. Some more necessary tools on the side that Batman definitely needs at every Batcave of his. Right here we have the main computer system. And Batman is at the computer system with his swivel chair. We can swivel him all the way around. And there's three separate computer screens, all stickers with light bars right above them. And right here we have a red lens magnifying glass. That'll help us decode the Riddler's codes right there. So it comes with, looks like three codes. And just like the back of this set, we can flip these tracks up and we can move them down. So we'll keep it down and this should be able to slide on the tracks just like that. And we can also take this off if you'd like to have this off you can. Let's take a closer look at these Riddler codes. So we have that red lens magnifying glass right up to these codes. Right here we have a keyboard for the computer and we have a cup or a mug. Let's check out the minifigures next. Let's take a look at these three minifigures first. On the left we have Selina Kyle, Catwoman. And Selina Kyle has been a part of the Batman story for a long time, since Batman number one in spring of 1940. And we can also put a helmet on this figure. And here's the alternate face, by the way. Right here we have Gordon. Gordon also comes with an alternate face. Next up it's the Riddler. The Riddler has a phone and no alternate face on the Riddler. Let's put these three figures aside and check out our next figures. First up we have Bruce Wayne Drifter. This figure also has an alternate face. This one it looks like he's upset. Here it is everyone, it's Batman. This is our next figure to check out. We can take off the Batman cowl. He has a battering in hand, bat cape. 
an alternate face. This one he's smiling. This one he's a little bit more serious looking. And there's a lot of detail on his outfit. There's a closer look at Batman. Here's our last minifigure from this set. It's Alfred. And Alfred has an alternate face. This one it looks like he's a bit surprised. Here's the drifter cycle. And if Batman's driving it, it becomes the Bat Cycle. We'll have Bruce Wayne drive it, so we'll just call it the Drifter Cycle for now, or Drifter Motorcycle. And we can put this helmet on. Actually, we have to take the head off also and put this on now. He has a full helmet. We'll set Bruce Wayne on the seat of the motorcycle. So that's cool. So we have some rubber tires, both front and back. We have that light on there. It doesn't light up or anything, but that's what's supposed to be as a light. And this doesn't appear to need a kickstand, but we can use this as a kickstand, which is really cool. I think that's neat. So we have that on both sides. And it looks like it rolls pretty well also. In case you're wondering, there are a few extra pieces that we didn't use, and here they are. Welcome back everyone. In today's video, we'll be reviewing two LEGO Batman sets. We have Batman and Selina Kyle Motorcycle Pursuit, and we have Batmobile The Penguin Chase. This set has 392 pieces. It comes with the Batmobile and two minifigures. Here's a look at the back of the box, and it shows a close-up of the Batmobile. Right here you can see a lot of detail on the Batmobile. Here it is everyone, the Batmobile and the two minifigures. Let's take a look at our minifigures first. So we have Batman and we have the Penguin. Let's check out their alternate faces. So there's Batman's. And we'll put this back on and Batman has a battering in hand. And then we have the Penguin. I decided to put the Batcave in the background that way. Once we're done checking out this Batmobile, we can put the Batmobile on the tracks on the Batcave. This is a really cool Batmobile. There's a lot of detail and the Batmobile is bigger than I expected it to be. And right here we have some exhaust. So we have one, two, three, and we have a fourth on the side. I always like when Lego vehicles have projectile missile launchers. So let's try this out. That definitely has some good launching power. Let's try it again from a different angle. Let's take a look at inside the Batmobile. We can just remove this. And it's a two-seater so Batman can drive and someone else can sit on the other side. We can see the console there with the steering wheel. And then right back here we can store some supplies, maybe a battering. Here's a look at the back of the Batmobile and again a lot of detail so this is really cool. Tons of detail. And there's the bottom. Looks like this is extremely sturdy so we don't have to be too concerned with it breaking apart easily. There's the rubber tires. And it has really good rolling ability. It rolls nice and smooth. Let's remove this part of the bat cave. We'll put it right over there and let's put the Batmobile on the tracks. Looks like it fits really well. Now it's time to check out our next set. This is Batman and Selina Kyle Motorcycle Pursuit. 149 pieces comes with two minifigures, Batman and Selina Kyle. And here's a look at the back of the box. Here's what this set looks like all put together. We have Batman and the Bat Cycle or Batman Motorcycle. And we have Selena Kyle and Motorcycle. And the Bat Signal. And we can rotate the Bat Signal just like this. And right here we have a grappling hook and a battering. Let's take a closer look at our Bat Cycle and our Batman figure. So here's the Batman figure comes with the battering and the bat cape and Batman has an alternate face and the bat cycle 
So it looks like there's a kickstand on either side. So if you want to lean it there, otherwise we can just have it standing straight up like that without the kickstand. There's a battering right there. So yeah, pretty cool bat cycle. And next up we have Selena Kyle. Selena Kyle comes with a helmet. And here's a look at this motorcycle. And this is connected on the back, so we can just easily connect it like that. And let's see what is in here. Oh, looks like we have some jewels. Let's take a look at all three of our Lego Batman sets. Today we reviewed two different sets. And recently we reviewed the Batcave. So if you haven't seen that video, feel free to check it out. Welcome back everyone. In today's video, we'll be checking out two different Batman figures. Both of these figures are Santa Batman figures or Batman in a Santa disguise. We have both the red and the blue version. Here's a look at the back of each package and they're very, very similar, almost identical. And really the difference I can see is the blue versus the green and red. Here's a look at both our new figures out of the package and everything they come with. And we'll start out by checking out this Batman first. Right off the bat, this reminded me a lot of the Endless Winter Batman. And out of both of these figures so far, I like this one the best just because I like the red coat that Batman is wearing. So that's a look all the way around Batman. He comes with this figure stand that we can have him on the figure stand or not. Right now we'll have him off the figure stand so we can take a closer look at our figure. Starting out with the boots. So he has these black Batman boots that kind of look a little bit Santa-like in a way. We can move his toes up and down like that on both feet. Looks like we can bend his knees a little bit and get in that action pose. He has a lot of armor on, so he has this Santa-looking suit. But he has some armor also, which will help with his defenses. And going up, he has this belt his Batman utility belt with some gold to it in the black. Probably has some batterings stored in there. So no, this really doesn't move. It's, it's stuck in place, kind of keeps the coat in place. And then you can see some of his armor on his chest armor there. And we can see that he has armor here, These this wrist forearm armor and then the shoulder pad armor also. This looks really neat when we get this close-up of this figure. You can see the close-up of the beard and then the Santa hat. So yeah, really neat figure. Let's check out some of the accessories this figure comes. And by the way, this figure does stand just fine on its own. If we want to get into more like action poses or different kind of poses, we may want to use the figure stand. But looking at the accessories, so not much with accessories. Uh, sometimes there's different accessories, maybe a sword or alternate hands or different things that figures come with. This just comes with this red Santa bag here. It has the red and white and some presents in here. It looks like gold presents wrapped in gold wrapping paper or maybe just like blocks of gold, which would be uh, a very expensive gift to give to someone. It also comes with this. It shows Batman on his bat sleigh with his bats kind of like his reindeer but bats pulling the bat sleigh and this is the one for the red and white outfit what has the green and the red on there red there some of the differences in his suit and his coat or his jacket kind of looks you know different than the other one and i think this is fun that it comes with a stand so we can display this it makes it a really neat display piece so we can take that out like that let's check out the other side so there we have the other side so we can display it really either way. Like that. I think that's really cool. It has the green and the red down there. Let's check out the next one. And we'll start with this on the next figure. So these figures are super, super similar, almost identical. And same with this. Uh, this time we have the blue, the different shades of blue on the front. Again, Batman. This time he has the uh, outfit or the suit that this one has and his bat sleigh with his bats pulling the sleigh. This time we get the two different shades of blue 
on the bottom there. It says Batman. We'll check out the other side. So it looks to be the same. Oh yeah, we'll set, actually let's keep this in the background. I think that looks really cool in the background. And we'll check out our figure and the gifts. As I look at this figure a little bit closer, it looks really neat too. I have a difficult time deciding. I still think I like this one better. I just like that red Santa jacket, but this looks cool. It really does. So again, similar boots. Um, probably they look to be exactly the same, the boots. He has the uh, uh, knee pads there, the armor, protective armor with the blue. He has these forearm guards here, which can help with his defenses. He can block like different strikes, even for swords. So lots of good armor here, shoulder pad armor. And this time he has a blue jacket with a blue hat with this white beard again. And it looks like he has two open hands each side, so we don't have any alternate hands here, but we do have the two open hands. Get another look at this figure. And let's check out the bag that he has. So this one is blue versus the red. The presents, the gifts in here have like a, I don't know, kind of like a tone of like a light blue or almost silver look to them. All right, let's put both of these together. I'll get them in an action pose and we'll see what they look like both together. Here's the two action poses I came up with. Kind of action poses, kind of not. Especially this one over here has the action pose, so we'll check out that one. So it looks like this Batman is running. He's in that running stance, has both his hands kind of up to, to get that full running power. Has the gifts over there. And over here with this Batman, looks like he's kind of leaning back a bit, pushing the presence away. Maybe the Joker wants the presence, so we're, he's kind of just pushing him away. But I don't think he's about to give up anytime soon because he totally looks like he has a plan. Welcome back, everyone. In today's video, we'll be checking out six figures from the Superpowers line. These are all DC figures, and they're made to look similar to the 1980s release of the Superpowers line. Let's check out our first figure, it's Batman. So here's a look at the Superpowers card. And again, this looks like that 1980s uh, Superpowers version with the stars on it and, and the light blue color of the card and just a lot about it. So on the back, it shows three figures. We have Superman, Darkseid, and Batman. We have two vehicles here. We have the Batwing and the Supermobile. Here's a closer look at that Batwing and Supermobile. Here's a look at Batman out of the package. Batman has his gray and blue suit with a little bit of yellow or gold on his belt. And he comes with this blue cape and the cape is actually removable. So I take the cape off and we can put it back on just like that. Kind of lightly snaps into place or fits over his shoulders and neck area. So there's a little bit of articulation on this figure, not a whole lot, but there should be around seven points of articulation. So I'll show the articulation for this figure and probably not get into it on every figure unless it uh, looks like it's different, but we can bend his knees, both of his knees. We can move his legs. And we can move his arms. We can bend his elbows and we can actually move his head back and forth also. We'll set Batman right here in the back and let's open the Flash next. So this is uh, superpowers on the front. And on the back it shows, this time it shows a total of six figures. So it shows the set of six figures, the same two vehicles on the back. And it shows a little bit about the, or it tells a little bit about the figure on the back. Try to get it so if you're interested in reading the back you can see what it says about the flash. All right, let's get this unboxed and check it out. So here is the flash. That's a really cool flash. It's really, you know, simple and basic, but sometimes, like I mentioned before, the simple and basic figures just look really cool. 
And what's different about these, some of the 80s releases or versions, like on the Batman, I believe you could kind of squeeze the legs together and they do like a punching action. So it doesn't have that to these. And we'll put the flash right back here. And next up, let's check out... Let's check out a villain next. We'll check out Dark Side next here. And there's the back. And here's Dark Side. He has a lot of armor and gear on, making it very difficult for the superheroes to battle this villain. So the same articulation as the other two figures with the elbows not bending, but those knees bending and the other seven points total of articulation. And it looks like on the bottom there's no uh, holes on the feet to put into foot pegs. Let's see if the Flash, the Flash has them. And let's see if Batman does. Batman doesn't, so just the Flash so far. All right, next up, how about this one, Green Lantern, John Stewart. We'll check this one out next. This one actually comes with an accessory. It looks like a Green Lantern. So here's our figure. I really like the Green Lantern style of uh, the uh, outfit that they have. Or the suit looks really cool. And this figure, like I mentioned before, has this Green Lantern it comes with. So we can put that in his hand here. Let's see if it can get through the grip of the hand. We have to see if it goes. No, the other hand. So this hand is a fist, so we're not going to be able to put it on that hand. Let's see if we can somehow get it on this hand. I think once we can get it through, if we can. Okay, there we go. we got to kind of loosen the grip a little bit so it can get around there. And there's a close-up of him holding the Green Lantern. Looks really cool. And it's not falling out of his hand. What I was able to do is kind of close the grip of his hands a little bit so this wouldn't fall out. Two figures to go. This next one is Superman. And here's the back. Shows the three figures on the back. Two vehicles. Talks a little bit about Superman. Actually a pretty big write-up about Superman on the back. I can already tell Superman has a really cool cape. And it looks like it's kind of like Batman's cape a little bit. So here's his cape, has the Superman on the back there, the S for Superman. And a little bit of a hole in the cape that was to kind of keep it in line in the package. All right, let's get, let's actually check out Superman without his cape first. So there's Superman in his blue, red, and yellow suit. And at first it's, it's pretty difficult to move the knees and to move the figure around, but after, you know, it's moved around, it kind of loosens up in the joints a little bit. So we have Superman in that running pose. I think the Flash would look really cool in that pose too. All right, let's get Superman's suit, or not a suit on, his cape on. He has this red cape we'll put on. This one is similar to the Batman cape, but for some reason doesn't want to go on as easy. There we go. Maybe it just needs to be off and on a little bit and then it'll fit on Superman a little bit better. But anyway, here is what Superman looks like with this cape on. 
Now we can go into that flying mode. So there's Superman in flying mode. All right, Superman, let's put Superman next to his superhero friends. So we got Superman there. And now for our last figure, it is Batman Who Laughs. So basically, Batman Who Laughs is a hybrid version of the Batman and the Joker from Earth-22. will be an interesting figure. So here it is, Batman Who Laughs. He has some interesting armor or gear on. He has that shoulder armor and some other, like a chest plate armor. Kind of has that look of Batman slash the Joker combined. We get a little bit more of a close-up of this figure. We just unboxed all six figures. And here's a look at all the figures again. That's it for today's video. Thanks for watching everyone and we'll see you next time. Welcome back everyone. In today's video we'll be unboxing a collection of DC Multiverse Batman figures. Here's a look at the back of the boxes. Here's a look at our Batman figures out of the package and I actually added some Superman figures to check out also. Let's start out with our first figure. This is Batman Beyond and a super awesome figure. It looks like Batman Beyond has that battering in his left hand. Here's a closer look at Batman Beyond with the battering in hand. I think that looks super awesome and we can see these adjustable wings back here. And we can adjust them just like that. And Batman Beyond is on his flight stand. So we'll kind of adjust these so they look like they're in position. And lots of articulation on this figure. And we can take it off the flight stand, which we'll do. And the flight stand, we can kind of just like pinch these together. That will clasp around our figure. That way we can display it and it'll stay on the stand. So yeah, this is definitely a really neat figure. I like Batman Beyond. Figures. I'm trying to collect a lot more of them and maybe eventually when I get more we could do a collection video on Batman Beyond figures. We can also take these off if we want or keep them on. We'll have them off for now. And here's another close-up of Batman Beyond. We can also switch out Batman Beyond's hands for a little bit different hand pose, which we'll do in just a moment. Here's the different hands. They don't look a whole lot different. Here's the new hands in place. They don't look much different than the other hands, but we can tell a little bit of a difference. Let's check out our next figure. This is Batman the Animated Series, and it definitely has that animated series Batman look to it. And we also have this figure stand, which all the figures do come with a figure stand or that flight stand, which is the clear stand. So this Batman has a huge cape. And then on the other side it's blue and on this side we have the black color to the cape which looks really cool. I like that blue on the inside and kind of a simple interesting uh, animated series Batman. Here's a close up of the figure and there's some articulation so we can bend the elbows and the knees and we can also move the, the hand all the way around and there's lots of movement on the feet so we can like make his toes point that way and this makes it really good for positioning the figures to get them in that action pose we can get them in let's get this batman in a cool action pose okay that is definitely a cool action pose batman is in a front stance and he's doing a double lunging strike and over here some of the accessories that this batman figure comes with we have some alternate hands a battering and to be able to hold on to that battering, we'll need to take off this hand and let's switch it with this one. And then we'll have Batman holding on to this battering. There we go. 
So yeah, that looks really cool. So Batman and Batman Beyond are holding on to their batterings. Let's check out a Superman figure next. So this is the Action Comics Superman figure, a super awesome Superman. I don't know, maybe one of my favorites. I mean, this looks super awesome. Has the red cape and the blue Superman outfit or suit. So that's awesome. Let's take Superman off the figure stand. And we'll set this aside for now. So yeah, this is super awesome. And we get a little bit of articulation, very similar to the rest of the figures. I believe this one also, we can move his toes and adjust them to get him in a cool action pose. This elbow doesn't want to move too well, so I'm not going to force it to move. Um, well, I guess I am a little bit. There we go. It's a little bit easier than I thought, but I've actually, like, the arms broken off figures before, so I try to be a little bit careful. And his toes do move, so we can definitely get this figure into a cool action pose or action stance. Let's take one more look at this figure. Okay, now we can switch out the hands. So right now it has the open hands, and we're going to make it into a closed fist position. That'll be really good for that flying action that Superman has. Although the open hands can serve a purpose to, for uh, flying and gliding also. So that also looks pretty cool. And we'll check out those feet again. Okay, let's get Superman in a action pose. There's the Superman action pose. He is flying. And he has his head looking to the right, so he's looking at us. And we can kind of move this around on that figure stand, which is so awesome. All right, let's put Superman back here. Next up, we have to check out this. This is Batman negative 44. And I really like the Batman suit or Batman uniform here. Have lots of armor, lots of detail. Super difficult to battle this Batman. And here's a closer look at this Batman negative 44 figure. So it looks like there's some a lot of black and some orange, a little bit of blue. Again, lots of detail on this figure and we can move the head all the way around so you can have different uh, ways the head is directed or looking. And let's get this Batman figure in a action pose too. Looks like this one's in a front stance and he's gonna do a hook punch, and he's keeping this hand up to block. Let's get it on the figure stand. There we go. Alright, let's set this figure over here. So now we're down to two more figures. We have one Superman figure and one more Batman figure to check out. We'll check out this animated series Superman figure next kind of reminds me of the Batman animated series. It has that same the animated series look to it, but this is Superman. And Superman has the red cape. It's kind of flowing to the side, to the left side there, as you can see with the cape making that uh, motion there. And this can come off. I have that just resting around his arms like he just bent this. And we have the two alternate hands. So we have the fists and hands and then the open hands. Okay, let's do a different pose here besides the front stance pose, which is a super cool pose. Let's get this one to do a kick. We'll see if we can balance it doing a kick. There we go, we have Superman doing a sidekick and he fell. I really want to make this work, let's try it again. Okay, Superman, you can totally do this. Hold that sidekick out. Oh, it's so close. Nope. Okay, let's try it again. Okay, let's get that foot in position and hold that sidekick Superman just for a little bit. And he's doing it! Awesome sidekick Superman. And he even has his hands up protecting himself. Good job. Of course Superman would know that. He's an expert at martial arts and battling. Alright, let's set Superman over here. Next up is Detective Comics Batman. 
Batman sure likes his batterings. This Batman also has a battering. And there's his cape. Really cool Batman suit and awesome cape. He has that Batman belt on. This also has that figure stand just like the rest of our figures. Really awesome figure. I really like all these figures. Alright, now it's time to get this Batman figure into an action pose. There it is, it's Batman doing a Batman knee. So he has his left foot planted, bring up that right knee to do that action pose knee, and looks like the battering fell out. Let's try to get that battering back in Batman's hand. Because he might need it for his battle, there we go. And we'll move Batman right back there. Let's take another look at all these figures. So which one of these figures is your favorite? Do you have a favorite or do you like all of them? Well, that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching everyone and we'll see you next time. One last thing, I hope everyone is still here and I totally forgot to show these cards. These are super awesome cards that came with each figure and I'm actually collecting these cards. So every time I get actually any card in a figure package, I keep them. And these are really, really neat cards. Welcome back everyone. Today we'll be unboxing a bunch of different figures. These are from the Special Legends Edition Batman series. The first figure we'll be unboxing today is Longbow Batman. So this Batman has a bow and some arrows and he has some really neat armor. All right, let's check out the back. On the back, it's going to show all six figures within this set, and we will be unboxing all six figures today. There's Night Send Batman right up there on the top left. We have Viking Batman, Samurai Batman, Longbow Batman, Crusader, Robin, and the Riddler. Here's Longbow Batman out of the package, and he's all set up. He has that bow in his left hand, and then he has this arrow pouch right here with the arrows. And he has this right in there with his cape. So yeah, this is an interesting figure. So this is supposed to be like a Middle Ages type of uh, figure line. So they're supposed to have that, yeah, basically that Middle Ages look to them, which they do. And these figures are from 1996. And I like that we can actually take out the arrows. And on this bone arrow, it's like actually like this little like string or thread here. So we should be able to maybe get a little bit of launching action. We'll see. So yeah, I think we should be able to get a little bit of launching action. Let's actually take this out of Batman's hand and we'll see here. All right, let's try that again. So there's no spring to launch this. We just have this part here that can do this. Let's give it a try. Okay, not too well, but you know, it. it Oh, whoa, okay. That time it worked. Wow. I was not expecting that. That had like some pretty powerful launching power. So yeah, he comes with the three arrows. Let's put that in his arrow pouch. So that arrow pouch, again, that does come out just like that and it goes right in there. We can just snap it into place there. So yeah, this is one of several Batman figures in this line that we'll be checking out. And this is the first one. I figured we should definitely start with a Batman figure. And it's a little bit tricky to get this Batman figure to stand. It's not impossible or anything, but we have to lean him back a bit. There we go. Now he stands. We'll set this figure aside and let's check out, let's check out another Batman figure. This is Night's End Batman. And it has the Batman logo right there. It says Batman on the side and then we have Batman right there. And it looks like it's all the same packaging on the front. You know, we'll just have a different name for whatever the figure is right there. Um, and there's our figure, and let's check out the back. The back should look very similar to the other figures. There might just be different order, possibly. Let's see if there's different order of the pictures. Actually, so far, same order. It just highlights the figure that's in the box. So it looks like this one has a launcher that it comes with and we can push button 
at back of launcher to fire that projectile, that disc. All right, let's check this one out next. This is Night's End Batman, so as Bruce Wayne recovers from critical injuries inflicted by arch-rival Bane, he appoints as his stand-in a mysterious new crusader who takes on the mantle of Batman. And assuming that would be this Batman, this figure here. So this figure comes with the launcher, some really interesting armor that's pretty unique really. I mean there's not a whole lot of Batman figures that resemble this Batman. And his cape does come off. I'm guessing this would get lost a lot of times after this was, you know, used and played with. I'm sure that cape would come off and then, you know, disappear and then just left with the figure. But we'll keep that cape together with this figure. And let's check out the launching power. Okay, this must be... Okay, maybe we just... Oops, that cape came off. All right, let's try the launching power here. Okay. So we just turn this over that way and then the disc launches. We'll get a close up of this figure. I like these like dagger looking things right here on his armor. I think that looks really neat. Next up we have the Riddler. And looking at the back of the package it shows instructions for the Riddler. So it looks like we can load the projectile into the launcher and launch the projectile. Here's the Riddler out of the package. So there's one projectile that'll launch and it's the left projectile. So yeah, that's some pretty good launching power on there. We'll take a look at that again. Good thing it didn't fly away too far. And then we have this that can move back and forth. The Riddler can look through there and that way he can get precise aim of the projectile. And it looks like he has some handlebars he's holding on to. And this also attaches to his waist there. And we can take this off if we'd like. And it just disconnects like that. The accessories on a lot of these 90s figures are they're interesting. They're they're really like creative and unique. So I'll put this back on here. This piece falls out a lot, so I could see this being a piece that goes missing a lot. It just doesn't stay on too well. So we'll get this back on the Riddler and also the handlebars that he has to grab onto too. It just gets a little bit, you have to kind of like push his arm back a little bit, especially this left one or the second hand that we're looking to put into place. There we go. Let's get that projectile back in there. Let's try one more launch. One more launch. Yeah, it definitely has really good launching power. Okay, this time I don't know where else. So on the floor, I'm doing these videos, they have like tons of toys and toy packages, so I don't know. I'll have to look for that in a little bit. I'll set the Riddler down and let's keep moving on and we'll move on to our fourth figure out of six. Good news is I found the missing projectile. Wasn't missing too long. Next up, we're on to another Batman figure. This is Viking Batman. Let's turn the figure around. And here's Viking Batman. Looks like he comes with a lot of armor and a shield and some other accessories, so we'll check this out. Here is Viking Batman, and Viking Batman has this shield in hand in his left hand, and he also has this kind of like axe looking type of thing here, which is interesting looking. And I didn't really go into articulation on these figures. This one's already getting a little loose. It's interesting how they can, the, the figures can get loose in the joints or they move in the package even though they haven't been out of the package and actually this one only has one and it's probably to be able to swing this around so let's put this in his hand that way we can you know move this back and forth like that and we definitely have to check out this cape this is a I don't know it's kind of a unique interesting cape actually really interesting it definitely doesn't look like the typical Batman cape and just like a lot of these figures and really all of them so far, we can take the cape off. 
So I don't know which way you like with the cape or without. I actually like both. I mean, they look really neat, just in different ways. This kind of reminds me more of like the, you know, just like the, the Batman we're used to seeing. But then you put this cape on, it just looks, I don't know, it looks different. So anyway, really cool either way. And again, this is Viking Batman. Time to check out our fifth figure. So we have two more figures to check out. And let's go into, uh, let's, let's unbox this one next, Robin. So I'll adjust this and see if we can zoom out a little bit. There we go. So this is Crusader Robin. And Robin comes with some interesting accessories, a crossbow this time. That'll be neat to see this. And I do like the helmet too. I can see on the front that this helmet actually comes off so you can put the helmet on or take it off. I think that's fun when you can just take off the helmet or headgear or armor, like on or off. I just think that's a lot of fun. So let's check out this Robin. And I, I really appreciate and respect these these figures have been saved for so long. So just think about it. these have been saved in the package. One sec. There we go. I want to make sure everyone can hear what I'm saying. Okay, so back to what I was saying is these have been saved in the package since 1996. I mean, that's a long time to save these in the package. And actually, I've had them for a while. Um, so I, I've, I've, kept them in the collection for a while and they're just I don't know I think that's neat that you know they they, they become kind of collectible or like vintage almost and um, when they're that old anyway so this is Robin and Robin has this interesting armor on he has these spike shoulder pads on he has let me get a little bit closer so everyone can see so yeah, Robin has the red shoulder uh, pads with the spikes on him. He has the red gloves. Green kind of has that, you know, typical Robin red and green color to him. So you can tell it's Robin. And then also this R kind of gives it away that it's Robin. So we might need to, if we want to take his cape off, we probably have to take that helmet off first. So this one's a little bit trickier to get off. I mean, it, it seems like it's possible. Yeah, it definitely seems like it's possible. So there's Robin without the cape. I kind of like the look with the cape on this one, actually. So that one looks cool like that. Now let's get, what is this interesting? Maybe like a shield? Okay, so that looks like a shield. Let's get Robin set up now. So we're getting this helmet back on. And he has the shield. Let's put the shield in hand. We'll try the left hand. So we just push that into his hand and he's holding onto the shield that way. And here's that crossbow. He comes with three arrows. So this one we'll put right here. And it just barely connects. So. We're gonna pull this back and check out the launching power. I'm assuming it has good launching power because Batman's bow and arrow did. Okay, not so good there, but you know what? I still think it's gonna be really good launching power. I'm not gonna say it's not yet because of Batman's. Okay, again, it didn't work out, but we're gonna get this. It's a little tricky because we have to like make sure it lines up in here. Okay, we're gonna pull it back really far this time. There we go, we got it. So definitely good launching power. Is there a, I don't see a carrying case for these arrows for Robin. Okay, let's get this figure here. This We'll take the shield off for now and let's work on this crossbow. Let's put the crossbow in his right hand. I wonder which hand it's supposed to go in though, like right or left. I guess it could go in either one. I could look at the packaging too, but we'll just have fun with it and just, you know, have our whatever way we want to do it. That's, that's the fun thing about these figures is, you know, there's suggested ways to like put the accessories on, but we can kind of just do what we want with them. That, that's what makes a lot of fun. There's really no right or wrong to it. We can put the crossbow, uh, we can do that to Batman or switch the capes out or armor, or, you know, just whatever. So, and the shield, I don't know, the shield is kind of like, I don't know, I don't really... Yeah, let's see here. We'll, 
Well, that's what it would look like, you know, without the arrow in there. We can put the arrow in there, but it's just going to slide right out. Unless we have it like that, we can do that too. That actually looks pretty cool. I guess if Robin had this shield right there, it would really be protecting him a lot. Let's just try putting the shield in this hand. I'm just curious to see exactly what it looks like, if we could even get that crossbow in there. So Robin has really good defense right now, like that. Okay, so this is our fifth figure. Let's clear the way for our last final figure. And it's Samurai Batman. There's a look at the back of the package. We have all six figures again. Samurai Batman doing his thing with his different samurai accessories or weapons he has. It looks like this bubble is yellowing a, a little bit, and that's typical for older toys for the bubble. That's that plastic clear piece. It just gets a little bit yellow sometimes. And there's ways to to make that not be as likely to happen, but sometimes it just happens. And if they're stored in like a basement or a damp, moist environment, they kind of get a little bit yellowed to them. Because I've stored stuff in places where it's like, a little bit there's a little bit too much moisture and yeah they definitely get yellow so let's see here okay so we can put like okay I think this actually is gonna go here I should have paid a little more attention to the package I could grab the package but you know what we're gonna do this like I was saying just to like make it however we like it and I think this looks pretty cool like this I'm guessing the package showed it like this. Could have it like that too. I don't know what it is about that, but that just looks kind of cool. I don't know, I like it. So this here, let's actually, we should be able to have this go through both hands. I think that's what that's for. The cape just does not want to stay on. Maybe we have to position this a little bit better. I think that should, okay, there we go. That should be a lot better. That looks like it's pretty much like stuck in place. There we go. That looks a lot better. So again, Samurai Batman. We're just taking our time going through these and uh, looking at the armor and everything that comes with it. So this Batman, as you can see, does have that samurai suit or uniform outfit on. The samurai gear. Alright, let's check out all the figures that we unboxed today. Let's get another look at all the figures. This is all six figures from the set. So as we're looking at these, which one of these is your favorite? My favorite is, I'm going to say this one right here. I just think this is really neat. This is the first one we opened or unboxed today. I like it because it has the bow and the arrows. Um, just the, the uniform or the suit for Batman looks really neat. But I think what really does it is the arrows and the storage for the arrows. I like that. And then this, yeah, this bow. And it actually can launch too. It's not just like for display. It actually can launch these arrows, which is super neat. So that's my favorite. If I had to go with a second favorite, um, that's a difficult one. First off, I think they're all really neat. I, I do think they're all really cool. But maybe this Robin, because I like the crossbow. I just think these, these being able to launch the arrows is really neat. All right, well, that is it for today's video. Thanks for watching, everyone, and we'll see you next time. Welcome back everyone. In today's video, we'll be checking out a collection of DC Primal Age figures. These collectible figures came out around the year 2018 and there's a bunch of superheroes and villains. As you can see on the back, it shows Superman, The Flash, Lex Luthor, Black Manta, and Bizarro. And there's actually more figures to collect. There's Batman, Green Lantern, Aquaman, Scarecrow, Wonder Woman, Mr. Freeze, King Shark, and the Joker. And actually some of the characters get two figures, like Mr. Freeze. 
So here's both of Mr. Freeze figures and we'll set these aside and check them out in just a little bit and we'll start with Batman and Batman actually comes with two different figures also. So there's this black and gray suit Batman. There's also a blue and gray suit Batman and I do have that, I just cannot find that. So I won't be showing that today. I'll probably save that for like a different video where there's uh, like a Batman collection or something like that. But anyway, yeah, let's take a closer look at this figure. These look a bit different than the traditional Batman superhero or villain figures we're used to looking at, um, but that's what kind of makes these neat. They're, they're different and they're neat. They are the DC Primal Age. So what Primal Age means is basically at their earliest or original state or stage. And that's what these look like, which is really neat because you can see Batman's armor in his belt. It's all like made of steel. So he had to like forge this or make this out of steel and make it himself. So long before the days of Bruce Wayne having lots of uh, money and resources to basically uh, make any kind of gear he wants, you know, this Batman had to do it a lot different. But he still has, you know, that uh, Batman armor there and some pouches there, maybe some batterings in there that he made from steel himself, which is really neat. Let's check out these two Mr. Freeze figures next. So there's this one, it's kind of like a see-through Mr. Freeze. And this one I opened a long time ago, like when they first came out. Um, but this one's really cool. I like that blue design and kind of that see-through look to it, the arms and, and all that. I think that looks really cool. And he does come with a sword. I, I think he came with something else too, probably like a shield or something, but I no longer have that. He has some really cool uh, freeze armor on. You can see like those icicles on there, ice crystal, looks really neat. All right, let's check out this other Mr. Freeze next. So uh, here's the back of this package. I'll show everyone that. And let's actually look at the, the box a little bit. I think these are neat too. So it says DC Primal Age on the front, has that shield there. Uh, says Mr. Freeze. These are five and a half inch uh, action figure, collectible action figures. Says uh, that on the side there. Okay, let's open this and check it out. Cool, so there's some accessories I can already see back here. We'll check those out in a little bit. But let's check out our figure first. So yeah, it looks a lot like the other Mr. Freeze figure we just checked out, but this one doesn't have that clear look to it but similar design you can see that ice crystal that just looks really neat and this one has like steel or metal armor with some spikes on there and then some more freeze like a freeze uh, around his ice around his wrist so it looks really cool i like the boots too they're like kind of like freeze or snow boots ice boots looks really cool uh, let's check out the accessories next Okay, so there's this shield, and I'm guessing the other figure probably came with a shield similar to this one. It's been a while since I unboxed that one, but um, yeah, probably when I got these when they first came out. So here's the sword, we'll put that in the other hand, the right hand. And when I first saw these, it really made me think of Masters of the Universe figures, or like He-Man figures. I don't know if that's what came to your mind too. Oh wait, cool. Okay, we'll, we'll talk about that in just a little bit, but this is really neat. That's awesome. So he has this like helmet, like an ice or freeze helmet, which is really neat. And it slides on, it kind of, you know, doesn't really click on, but stays on well enough. So it doesn't really fall off on its own, that's good. But yeah, that's really neat. And then there's this ice or freeze claw. So that will go on his left hand. We'll take the shield off to see what that looks like. Yeah, it looks awesome. All right, let's tilt this down so we can set our figure down. We'll see what it looks like with all of his accessories. So yeah, back to what I was saying. Whoa, his leg just came off. Okay, that's interesting. I was not expecting that. Should just snap right on. There we go. So it snaps right on. We'll kind of be a little careful. There we go. So it kind of reminds me of 
a little bit like these He-Man Masters of the Universe figures from the 1980s. I mean, it definitely does have, you know, it just has that similar look to it. Although these ones had like a little bit more movement in the legs. So the legs kind of remind me of like a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle from like the 80s, how they, you know, would move in the way these do. Anyway, we'll set Mr. Freeze aside. So I won't be opening all of these today because I am trying to save some of them for uh, figure collections like we've been doing with the Hulk collection and so on. I want to do a Batman collection. I haven't made a final decision of how I'm going to do this, but I, I think I want to do a Batman collection. And I'd like to do a Joker collection too. I think that would be cool. So what I'm going to do is save some of these figures for that. Like I'll save the Joker figure. Um, but we will take a look at the Joker figure still, you know, sealed. And, and that's a cool figure. I think there's only one Joker figure within this set. I, I'm pretty sure. But, you know, there might be another one too. I know there's like, uh, I think it's called like the Joker Beast, which I do have that too. And that will be in another video. So they come with some. There's actually a Bat Cave too, which is really neat. Uh, so there's the Joker figure. I'm going to set that aside. Okay, I'll keep going through these. I might do a Superman collection also, so just in case I'm going to save this, but everyone can kind of get a, a good look and see how this looks too, which is really cool. I like Superman's, is that like a gold looking armor? He has this like wrecking ball hand. He has the uh, Superman gold chest plate there and um, I mean, it's kind of gold looking. Hard to tell in the package, but anyway, either way, really cool armor, Superman, and I think there's just one Superman in the set. Again, there there's there could be could be more, but this is what I have is just the one. But I do know that I have do have two Batman figures, so um, that I do know. Uh, Scarecrow, this one I will be unboxing. So let's check out Scarecrow. I don't think I'll do a Scarecrow collection, but you never know. If I do, it'll probably just be like out of the package. So we'll just show a collection of those in one video. And Scarecrow comes with some accessories. See what Scarecrow comes with. Okay, so first, well, you know what? Let's get his armor on and then we'll check out Scarecrow. He has this interesting Scarecrow crow like shield. Let's see that. And we'll put this in this hand here. So, yeah, some cool, interesting design with these figures. I, you know, I, I appreciate. Really, all these you know superhero and you know DC villain superhero toys, but and and even if they look similar or the same, I like those. But when they look a little different too, they're kind of fun. So this is kind of tricky. To, there's not too much give in the hands. There we go. There's enough to get that in his hand. But yeah, again, you know, going back to what I mentioned about some of the other figures, you know, back in these days in their original state, you know, a long, long time ago, they had to make their own, you know, stuff, like their armor, their gear, their outfits, everything had to be made. So this is made by Scarecrow, most likely. He made this, all of his armor. And yeah, it looks neat. And this is a shield made out of wood. Uh, Probably not as you know durable or isn't as durable as the the metal uh, shield, but it does provide some form of defense for Scarecrow. We we'll get one more look at this, and you have the Scarecrow belt buckle. So that's some neat added detail. And and to go over articulation, if anyone's interested in that, not a ton of articulation. Kind of like your He-Man figure, you know, they're they're meant to be kind of simple, um, moving up and down like that. I mean, simple, but not simple. Um, can move the arms a little bit. They look really neat for a display. I think these look really fun to, to display. And there's a closer look at Scarecrow. There's still more figures to check out. I'm going to probably take this one out too, but we'll check the Flash out. Let's get a little closer and look at our Flash figure. And the reason I'm taking this out is because I think I'll do a Flash collection. I have lots of different Flash figures and Flash is one of my favorite superheroes. I mean, I have a lot of favorite superheroes, so there's not even close to just one. I don't even know if I could choose one, but, you know, if there's like a group of them to choose, Flash would definitely be there. And, and that's just a really neat figure. And 
I like the variety uh, of these, so I'll definitely save this for the collection video. The Flash. Next, we'll check out Black Manta. The rest of these, I'll, I'll open all these because I don't plan on doing a collection video uh, on those. And like I mentioned before, if I do, I'll um, just do like a, include them in there when they're unboxed or opened. Okay, so Black Manta doesn't come with a ton. So Black Manta would have had to been extremely creative many, many years ago to design this. I mean, this is pretty advanced, or extremely advanced, so a little different than the, the other figures. I guess he was ahead of his time with, you know, like coming up with uh, inventions and stuff. So yeah, there's Black Manta, cool figure. He has those tanks on the back. That way he can get into the water, get in and out. So yeah, interesting, neat figure. All these are really neat. Uh, Bizarro kind of has that Superman look. So we're kind of, it's like we're opening up a Superman figure, but not. It's Bizarro, it's not Superman. All right, let's see. Okay, so let's see what Bizarro comes with. Is it just a shield? Well, he does have that wrecking ball hand, so it's not like just a shield or anything. He's that really cool wrecking ball hand, which it's stuck in place so it's not like it comes off, uh, which is fine. But when he has this shield, we'll put the shield on. I'll go over his cuff or bracelet there. Yeah, so there is Bizarro. And he has like his uh, shield or his uh, chest plate kind of tilted a little bit. And then that wrecking ball hand like we were talking about before, which looks really interesting. I think that's a neat addition on there. A lot of times, you know, you can take the, the wrecking ball hand on and off the hand, but this one is, you know, stuck on the hand, which is fine. Uh, purple cape. So yeah, cool, interesting figure. I know I keep saying that, but I just think all these are, because I, you know, I handpicked all these, and, and I thought they were really neat. Every time I buy something, it's like, ooh, I think that's, that's cool, or I want to show everyone the toy. It's not like I buy stuff and show everyone stuff I don't like, so that's why I say it's cool. <laughs> okay, so next we have King Shark. Okay, this is an interesting figure. You can see like the shark teeth right here, the shark mouth, shark teeth, that is for the chest plate. So that's very creative and probably some kind of uh, armor or extra, uh, you know, a villain would add And many years ago. There's some seaweed, some bones, you know, different, just different things. So very creative. And yeah, King Shark. Interesting. You can see all those shark teeth right there. Uh, let's definitely get the shield on. Let's see if this fits in the hand. I have to slide it through this way. Okay, let's give this a try. Well, kind of. I think it's you know, supposed to grip there, but it's fine gripping lower there too, that's fine. So yeah, there's the shield, has some waves on it, and the, the shark fin sticking out of the waves. And yeah, that's King Shark, cool. And at the end of this video, after we look at this Wonder Woman figure, we'll, uh, I'll, I'll put everything together so you can see the collection. The, definitely the near set, it's close to being an entire set. Is that green lantern figure that looked really neat? And I, I really think I have that somewhere too. So I'll have to go through all the toys in the collection and, and see where that might be. I'm 
pretty sure I have that, or I may have opened in the past, but if I did, I, I should still have it somewhere. So we'll put the shield on Wonder Woman. Um, the lasso, we'll, I don't know, put that like over the shoulder kind of thing, maybe, because so we can get that sword in hand. All right, there's our Wonder Woman figure. The lasso seems to be not staying in place, but... And this is more of like armor and... Yeah, like the armor on Wonder Woman is, is definitely a little bit more... I want to say it's advanced, but it's just like, I don't know. It's it's took some maybe professionalism at the time to build the armor. Actually, all these kind of look like that, especially like Wonder Woman's armor and gear. And it looks like this does not want to stay. But anyway, that's that's how it looks. And what I'll do next is I'll get all these together so we can see what they look like lined up. Here's a look at the entire collection. And the three figures we'll check out at a later time. That's it for today's video. Thanks for watching everyone and we'll see you next time. Welcome back everyone. In today's video we'll be unboxing this unmasked Batman Beyond figure. This is Wave 4 Figure 4 and it includes a collect and connect figure piece. And it looks like it's the left arm and we can reveal the figure on the back. That collect and connect figure is Despero right in the middle. And there's other figures within the set that we can collect. On the bottom of the package it shows biography and statistics. Real name Terry McGinnis, occupation student, base of operations Gotham City in the year 2040, special abilities trained in gymnastics and martial arts. Here's our new figure out of the package, and we have the collect and connect arm. We'll set that aside just in case I decide to collect the whole set and connect the figure. And here's our unmasked Batman Beyond figure. Already I can tell this is a really cool figure. And this figure came out a while ago, 2007. So this is from 2007. Wow. Here's a close-up of Batman Beyond. I think this is really cool, it's the unmasked version. There is a version with a full mask and this is the unmasked version. So it's cool to have both of them and we do get his mask in his hand. But it's like a scrunched up mask that he's holding on to and doesn't go on his head so... We have that, we'll set that aside and then we have this battering in his left hand. So it's Batman Beyond Battering. And we'll take a closer look at our figure and all the articulation and the really awesome Batman Beyond suit that he's wearing. So starting with his head, moves side to side, up and down, rotates really well. And it looks like he doesn't twist at the waist. And his arms do have some movement in them, or articulation. We can move his wrist all the way around and his knees move. And then there's some articulation right here too with his feet moving up and down. And the figure itself is kind of a little bit stiff because it's a brand new figure. So yeah, this is a really cool figure overall. And it's making me think I should collect more figures within the set, especially the masked version of Batman Beyond. Here's a close-up of our new figure. And this is definitely making me want to collect more Batman Beyond figures. I think Batman Beyond is such a cool character and his figures are super awesome. I don't have a ton of them, maybe like five to ten different Batman Beyond figures, but I know there's a lot more to collect and I definitely think I should. Well that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching everyone and we'll see you next time.